Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Thursday, May 30th, as we continue to explore the names that we have for Jesus and what those names mean for us in our relationship with him. Today we kind of piggyback on yesterday's name. Yesterday we talked about Jesus being the, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He's that sacrificial lamb. Today we kind of go to the other side of communion where we go from the blood of the sacrifice to the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. And like with so many of the names given to Jesus in the New Testament, there is an Old Testament account that makes that name for Jesus even richer. And so we will start with the Old Testament account from Exodus chapter 16 beginning at verse 2. And the whole congregation of the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the people of Israel said to them, Would that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the meat pots and ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill the whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain, rain bread from heaven for you. And the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. The bread that the Lord provides. Shortly after Jesus fed the 5,000 with just a few loaves of bread and some fish, he had this, this lesson for his disciples and for us from John chapter 6, beginning at verse 35. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, whoever believes in me shall not thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Jesus is the bread of life. What an amazing name. Throughout history, bread has been one of those key things in nutrition for people. In the Old Testament, the people were fed with manna in the wilderness, a gift from God. In the New Testament, we are given Jesus, the bread of life. Jesus instituted communion by taking the bread and breaking it and saying, this is my body. Jesus is the bread of life. As we participate in Holy Communion, we are fed through his body and blood. We are given new life through his sacrifice through his body. Jesus is the bread of life. He provides for our life. He blesses our lives. He walks with us through our lives. Most of all, he nourishes us through his own gift of himself so that we may grow in faith and we may grow in our ability to trust God. As we look at Jesus as our bread of life, we need to remember that he is the bread that feeds us. That, that helps us grow in faith, that nourishes our faith, so that we may bear much fruit within the world God has called us to serve. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for sending Jesus to be the bread of life, to feed us through his sacrifice, so that we can grow in faith as your children. Help us to faithfully continue to feed on his body and blood as we participate in Holy Communion and to feast on the word that he has so richly given us. Lord, in your son's name, we ask all these things. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Bye-bye.